Merry Christmas from BBC One. And in Santa's grotto, the stars let me know what they want in their Christmas shows. Oh, Santa, I want all my wildest dreams to come true. Lenny, you are the new prince. Uh. Okay, two things. First, I've got a Christmas special called One Jasper Carrot from the Theatre Royal Drury Lane. Secondly, would anybody like to buy my house? Young whippersnapper, well, what do you want? Ah, well, I need a grand for a start, and I need some gunge, and I want a gotcha, and I need somebody for my... In TV? No way. No, oh, I suppose Boxing Day is your day off. Christmas on BBC One. Simply sacks full of fun. There's a magical start to Christmas Eve on One with Paul Daniels at 6.15. What role is Bruce playing? Cinderella. Keeping up appearances at 7 and at 7.30. It's going to be a strange Christmas to show me. I'm looking forward to it. So am I. At 8, sitting pretty. Not one inch of me has ever been worked on by a cosmetic surgeon. No, but say it had, Phil. Think of the compensation. Christmas Eve in Holby City, but there's no room at the inn. Rob, this is a hospital, not a doss house. Charlie, we're not busy. No, we soon will be if the word gets round that you're offering free bed and board to every down and out with a decent sob story. And at 9.45, embark upon a stormy journey with Al Pacino and Ellen Barkin on the Sea of Love. I believe in animal attraction. I believe in love at first sight. I believe in this. A thrilling Christmas Eve on BBC One. The excitement of Christmas Day on BBC One. At ten past three, Harrison Ford and Sean Connery. Junior! Take on old enemies in Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Well, they don't come any closer than that! There's festive fancy footwork at 5.20, but it's all too much for Bruce. At 6.25, not everyone's having a Merry Christmas in Albert Square. All I keep seeing is her face looking at me. It should be me in that hospital. I wish it was me. At 6.55, keeping up with the trotters. Well, what do you reckon? What do I reckon? The last time I saw a place like this was in that film, Gorillas in the Mist. It's a jungle. God knows what lives in there. Gil. God. Christmas Day on BBC One. Deadly Moor causes a pre-Christmas crisis for Santa now on BBC Wales on One. Will it be all right on the night, or could Christmas be cancelled? This holiday Monday at 5.45, dreams come true on one when Jim fixes it with help from Take That. And that's followed at 6.30 by the Christmas edition of Telly Addicts. Perky was the bear eye. Perky the bear eye. Who never married. <laughs> <laughs> at 7, Danny DeVito and Arnold Schwarzenegger are twins. You tell your brother he messes with me, he messes with my whole family. At five past nine, one Jasper Carrot. You are looking at Betamax, man. <laughs> and more comedy at five to ten when Victor's fertilizer proves too hot to handle. You buy horse manure from any old Tom, Dick or Harry, you don't know where it's been. <laughs> you don't know where it's been, you know exactly where it's been. Holiday Monday evening on one. And now, festive fun with the return of some favourite characters in the Ross Abbott Christmas show. Hello, Sally. What's on your show on Christmas Day? Well, we've tons of stuff lined up for you. I'll be talking to Lulu about how a revolutionary new treatment has brought hope to literally thousands of sufferers from split ends. And I'll be discussing, with no embarrassment at all, female problems, such as wonky wombs and faulty fallopians. Can't wait. Handy hints in Victoria Wood's all-day breakfast, nine in the evening on Christmas Day, on one.
On Boxing Day, I've got a special Christmas house party. My guests include Joe Longthorne, Dennis Quilly, Nigel Benn, Frank Bruno, and Tony Blackburn getting his gotcha. A special MTV, the party's at your place. Make sure you come. And that's live on Boxing Day at 6.50 on BBC One.